Okay, <laughs> I think we're live now. And good day to you all, and welcome to the Orin Oracles Live with Rita Shivambu. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and I am so honored and privileged uh, to have a very special dear friend uh, as my guest today, uh, Leah Sampson. Uh, also known as a uh, standing uh, white buffalo calf woman from the Santi Sioux tribe. She is a remarkable human being, and I am just honored to call her my friend. And uh, we spent some time together recently, and uh, I think you're going to find this uh, time together with her to be very remarkable. She has such a, an amazing story. And so <clears throat> I welcome you all. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this is going to be a real treat. And I do want to uh, make some uh, announcements. Uh, my day has just been a magical uh, journey so far. Uh, I was invited uh, by my friend Marcella uh, to participate in something that was truly a remarkable celebration. Um, the uh, Shabarati uh, festival that was being broadcast live uh, from India with tens of thousands in attendance and hundreds of thousands of people uh, throughout uh, the whole world were participating, um, and it was an honor. I was moved to tears, really honestly. It was just so beautiful. It just spoke to me in a really deep way. And before I bring, uh, hi Leah, I know you're there. <laughs> I'm going to bring you in in a minute, um, because I there's something I want to share. Um, uh, I wrote a piece, um, it was 18 years ago, and I'm going to share that piece with you because I feel it is uh, pertinent uh, and appropriate uh, to open this experience that we're going to have with Leah. And uh, it's entitled, Do You Know Humans? indigenous kind. <laughs> Sharing space with cats. <laughs> Crazy cats. <laughs> okay, calm down there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, do you know humans, indigenous kind? Native in spirit, collective lifetimes. A sense of compassion for indigenous kind. On every continent, more people divide. To the fate of the humans, who will decide? Destruction of forests shows no relief. What's more important, humans or beef? I have to remove this cat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I got my HP bottle ready. <laughs> Let me resume. <laughs> What's more important, humans or beef? The loss of these elements. Plus, um, wait a minute. <laughs> the cat. Okay. Destruction of forest shows no relief. What's more important, humans or beef? The loss of these elements plus water and grain makes the passion for hamburger so insane. More people are starving. Do we have a clue? Would it make a difference if that person was you? The plight of the humans is at our command. In view of the future, where do you stand? Just how important are new Nike shoes? when they are produced by human abuse. 
And who controls food? Do you own some seeds? Will food engineering fulfill all our needs? More seeds are illegal as patents unfold. Just more control, our government's old. Some people know this, but most people don't. Will you be affected if you think that you won't? Every agreement that's made at the top governs our future. Do you think it should stop? Should I feel bad about what I don't see when I watch what I want on cable TV? What is the problem? Aren't we all free? I didn't vote Bush in, so stop blaming me. Would that make a difference? Would consciousness grow, changing the puppets in the government show? Permit me to ask you, do you feel secure? Do you flow with the river or you cling to the shore? What if your family or someone you loved disappeared in the night, escorted by thugs? Would it make a difference what badges they wore if you were the victim of this type of horror? These are the truths that some people face. Annihilation, destroying their race. It's always a matter of who owns the land, who collects taxes, and who is the man. So where can they go, the children of Earth, whose ancestors taught them survival from birth? Who are these people that want to live free? Are they different from you and me? Out of sight and out of time, the plight of the humans indigenous kind. Do you feel at risk? Do you feel alone? Are your lights on when nobody's home? What is your history? Where are you from? Have you ever known victims of the thundering guns? Do you know humans? Indigenous kind? And show them compassion or treat them like slime? Are we so civilized that we don't see if you can't be yourself, then who should you be? In view of creation, is this human fate to be like the others, assimilate? I don't know about you, but that's not for me. I honor the sovereigns who want to live free. If we all rise up and together stand tall and notice our freedom is beginning to fall, we must bury the hatred What's done is done. Start accepting the truth of what we've become. Can we stop the violence and end future wars? Eliminate bigotry and become something more? Do you trust the government with fearful belief that they're saving the humans from furthering grief? Part of the package the media sells is to keep us distracted and under a spell. As the government awakens a world full of fear, shouldn't we wake up to the truth that is clear? Our country's in meltdown. What can we do? Call out the troops for a government coup? Who draws the picture for humans in stress? Pharmaceutical companies who pirate the press? This may sound too cynical. Do we need more proof? more validation and finding the truth. So what is the answer? Where can we go? Who can we talk to? Who's in the know? Start with yourself before you decide. In, in order to heal, we must uh, start with yourself. <laughs> go deep inside and check your beliefs before you decide. In order to heal, we must come from love, celebrate differences, and then rise above. Cradle each heart as if it was yours. Unite the world and eliminate wars. We are the hope. Find God within. That is the place that the journey begins. 
once you discover that God loves us all, regardless of race, just answer the call. As humans in training, just do your part, sharing the love and open your hearts. With each transformation, new truth will be told and teaching the children before they are sold. Just follow your path. Read all the signs. Put love in your heart. Now is the time. Give the respect that you deserve too and be responsible in all that you do. Elevate spirits and start with yourself. Experience happiness. Create world health. Why wait any longer? Now is the time. Show up in your heart and get out of your mind. So, with that being said, I want to bring our friend, our special guest, Leah, in. And uh, Leah, I hope that you uh, just can uh, find the cue uh, to uh, come join me. Um, I'm going to look. I have you in the queue. You have been invited. Give me a moment. I'll check again. I know I invited you. I don't know why that always happens, but it's all good. <laughs> oh, man. This is just always a trip. <laughs> Please bear with me. <laughs> Leah is invited. You're invited, Leah. I don't know where you are. Uh, I have you in the queue. Uh, so uh, please uh, join us uh, wherever you are. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know where all the comments just went. They uh, Every time I touch the screen, something happens. <laughs> but it's all good. We're all here. It's happening. Let's just... Uh, as always, it's live, so just be patient with it. Like where the comments went, they disappeared. I keep touching the screen. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> and, uh, okay, Leah, you did click the queue. Uh, you should be able to, uh, it should just start appearing for you. If you clicked in on the queue, you have been invited. Okay, I'll on invite and invite you again. I will do that. <laughs> Thanks for your patience, folks. I do appreciate it. Okay, let's try this again. It keeps, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why this happens. I really don't. Um, it's just so weird. And it, you know, I can't seem to uninvite you. It, it you know, it, I keep pressing on it and it just keeps saying, uh, you know, you're invited. And, uh, let me, uh. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, this is just so trippy, and um, like uh, I'm gonna do it uh, one more time. Uh, you are in the queue, and I don't know why. I can't uninvite you. just fail to comprehend this stuff sometimes. It's just so 
It's just so trippy. I keep inviting you and it won't let me uninvite you. <clears throat> I don't know. All right. Um, I'll add somebody else and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling with it. <laughs> I'm just being with it. Okay. I'll, I'll try that. I'll try to invite somebody and then invite you. Okay. I'll try that. Um, uh, let's invite, uh, let's invite precise and, uh, Keep clicking it and it brings me in only to watch. <laughs> I just did invite, uh, you know, Doc uh, Precise and uh, man, it just gets weirder. Um, hang on, Leo. We got, we got time. We're going to have all the time we're going to possibly want. So uh, I'm going to do this one more time. I don't know why it doesn't let me on invite you. It's just weird. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, this is just hilarious. And I apologize, I really do, Leah and everyone else. I, do, I apologize. I'm doing the best I can with this. I don't know why this happens. Uh, whoops. <clears throat> that button was uh, attempting to end the video, and I don't want to do that. Um, uh, so let me... Uh, Okay, I don't know. Um, this is just all such a mystery to me, why this happens. I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, hmm. <laughs> You know, that, uh, Andrew, you might be right. I, this has happened before. I've had to stop and restart, which I really don't like to do. But I think that's going to be, <laughs> I guess, a part of the ammo. So stay tuned. I'm going to end the broadcast and restart. And uh, just hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Love you guys for your patience. Thank you. Okay, I'm back, <laughs> and uh, I just uh, reset uh, Leah back in the invite into the queue, uh, so hopefully um, this will work, and uh, hello Carol, hello Monica, thanks for joining us, hello Lucy, hello Jean Theo, um, <laughs> thanks Carol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leah, I've restarted and I put you right up again into the queue. You have been invited. It has been done. So uh, let's see what happens this time. Um, and I thank you all for joining me. We are, uh, we are live and uh, coming to you from Morintown. And it is a uh, beautiful day to be alive. And uh, I've got... Uh, <laughs> Hello, Monica and Denise. Nice to see you all. Um, <clears throat> I do have uh, Leah in the queue. She's there. And I'm waiting for her to uh, make the connection. Um, let's see. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. Leah, are you there? <laughs> Hi, Sean. i glad that Holland's in the house. Um, and uh, thank you for that thoughtful comment that you uh, uh, left with me. I've invited people to leave comments uh, for uh, the book uh, 
or an oracle. Now it seems my feed is uh, on delay. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what to say about live sometimes. It's just hilarious to me. I just don't understand what the uh, technical difficulty is. I don't. Um, Leah, I don't know where you, where you are. You've been uh, re-invited. I've re-established the broadcast. Uh, are you there? Because I don't even see you coming up as watching or in the comments. Hey, Cornelius. Uh, nice to have you. So, uh, I'm looking and waiting for Leah. Uh, I don't know where she disappeared to. She was watching. I have restarted. I have re-invited and put her in the queue. I don't know. I can't say. So, um, in the meantime, um, I want to say that uh, I want to thank people uh, for submitting comments uh, for the Orin Oracle book. Um, they're really beautiful and lovely and have been very moving to me. And um, I really appreciate it. And I welcome people to do that if they choose uh, to submit uh, comments that will be added into the book. And, um, and Andrew said it took a couple minutes to get the notification that I uh, started. Uh, so, <clears throat> Leah, <laughs> where'd you go, darling? What happened? Where are you? You were watching before, but I haven't seen you come up. Um, and I put you in the queue. And I did invite you. Um, man, this is just Mondo Bizarro. I just don't get it sometimes. Hmm. I don't get it. And, and I've just been waiting with uh, so much uh, patience. Uh, for this broadcast because I just have, oh man, I have so much love for Leah and uh, I don't know where she went. Leah, can you hear us? Where are you? Oh, thanks, Denise. Yeah, it's one of my shirts, Glow with the Flow, Recycle Your Orange. And speaking of Orin, <laughs> I uh, I did a full body wash this morning. Uh, I did my uh, my foot soak in my rubber boots. I did a soak in my hands and my rubber gloves. And man, that stuff is uh, really healing, uh, really special. I really appreciate it, um, the uh, experience. And. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. She was on the first broadcast, and um, she hasn't reappeared yet. And uh, for this, I don't know why. I'm really unsure where she is. And all I can do is be patient about it, and, uh, and I trust that you all can be, too. That's the uh, process of life. So anyway, I took my bath this morning, um, soaked my hands, soaked my feet. And uh, I'm just marveled by the uh, magic, the power, and the uh, pleasure I feel uh, when I do this. And I've been noticing, and it just keeps uh, uh, just using, uh, yeah, the rubber boots work. I do, uh, I got that tip from Rosalind. <laughs> they work really good. I put on thick socks, and I uh, I do warm up my uh, pee a bit. Um, uh, somebody made a comment in one of the groups this morning about heating it, and uh, you know heating it, warming it. There, you know, it's two different things. I just uh, I warm it just a bit uh, so that it um, has a you know kind of a hot spa uh, feeling to it. So I do that in my uh, hands and my gloves. Uh, for both my hands and feet, and it works. Uh, I like it. Feels good. And uh, 
I just don't know where where Leah disappeared to. She hasn't reappeared. And I don't know why. It's hard to say. I just don't know where she is. Leah, what happened, darling? Where'd you go? I don't know where she went. She was on the first broadcast. I stopped. I started again. I re-invited her. And I'm just waiting for her to reappear. So, there it is. So, <clears throat> this festival that I was uh, privileged to be a part of this morning. Um, it's a huge thing in India, a big celebration. Uh, the Shiva Rate, Ratri, Ratri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Shiva Ratri Festival. And um, yeah, what a powerhouse that was. Uh, the beautiful message, um, fantastic music and celebration. Really remarkable, really awesome. And, um, hey, Marius. <laughs> you know, all, you, all you people are coming to join me and Leah, and I don't know where Leah went. You know, she was watching and couldn't seem to come in um, for whatever reason. I don't know how this happens, that she uh, is not reappearing. I'm not certain about what so with that. And, uh, but I'm patient. And I uh, trust you can be as patient as, uh, as I am. As it's a, an important conversation, I know that it is a strong message that um, Leah brings and that we'll share. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> and um, also, uh, I want to. Uh, Thank Carol, she sent me this remarkable tea, <laughs> and I made a big pot of it, and uh, I've really been enjoying it. It's really soothing, and uh, I don't even remember how to pronounce uh, the name, and the package is in the closet right now in the pantry, and so I don't know, uh, but it's this remarkable, um, soothing uh, tea, and so I've been enjoying that, and I thank you again. Uh, Carol, uh, for sending me that gift. It was really thoughtful of you. And <clears throat> yes, it's true, Andrew. Or Oren brings patience. It taps into areas that we might have been um, overlooking in our lives. Um, and um, hello, Carol. And Carol. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, process of awakening that occurred uh, for me as a result of beat therapy has been uh, remarkable. Uh, it opened my heart a lot. Uh, it opened my uh, mind a lot. It freed my body completely of all my uh, aches and pains. And. It's just uh, uh, I'm I'm just not the same person, you know. Who I was a year ago, I don't even know who that person was, you know. Even four months ago, two months ago, it just constantly evolves. It's an evolutionary change, and every body is different. We all have to accept um, our own process and not get impatient. Patience is important. Yeah, you know, I've been doing this for a year, and now I, I finally see it where my gray, uh, gray is disappearing. It's disappearing in my hairline, and uh, it, it's disappearing in my beard. It's just, and I've only just really recently started to notice this change. And so, it's really, uh, it is. It's big. Patience is a big part of what we are. Okay, Leah, there you are. <laughs> I have you in the queue. I restarted the uh, the whole broadcast and uh, re-invited you. So, uh, um, so uh, Denise asks, how often do I do the full body rub? A few times a week. Um, still can't get in. 
damn, I don't understand, Leah. I just don't understand what is going on because other people are going like, yeah, and they could be added. I don't understand. This is so weird. Um, man. Hmm. Let me look again. Stand by. Okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> now it says to clear requests. And. Okay. I updated the app. Uh, rebooted. I'm going to. Uh, redo this one more time just to be sure that uh, okay I've done it um, man This is just crazy. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You are invited. You are invited. Um, I, re I rebooted you into the queue. Um, so... <clears throat> Leah says she updated the app and is rebooting. Uh, so let's just uh, <laughs> let's see what happens next. Um, I've got time. I hope Leah does. Um, and we'll run this broadcast as long as necessary. Hello, Lorenzo. <laughs> Welcome. And uh, I'm just being patient uh, with the process because... Uh, <laughs> Leah says, talk about forces not wanting the masses to hear, eh? <laughs> oh, on point there, my friend. What we're bringing here, I talked to Leah for a good hour the other day, and um, the message that we're going to bring today is a powerful one, uh, very powerful. And um, it's just interesting um, of what is um, preventing uh, this from occurring. Uh, it's hard to say. I, I've, I've done the things in diligence that I have experienced before and uh, by stopping and restarting uh, the broadcast uh, to just create it. And other people are, uh, you know, showing up like ADME. Uh, so, geez, Leah, this is uh, it's powerful stuff. Now, Leah, who is, um, she was named uh, Standing White Buffalo Calf. That was uh, given to her as birth. Uh, she comes from a, a long, long lineage of um, real warriors. And, uh, man, her story is just a remarkable. Okay, Leah's saying stop and restart again. I guess we're going to go to a part three. <laughs> I will. I will. This is too important not to do this. So stand by and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, be patient. The, the, you know, this is, this is truly worth it. Trust me on this. I'll be right back. Okay. Round three. <laughs> So, um, I've done the same thing three times, but uh, we're going to see if this time um, Leah uh, is going to appear. <laughs> and thank you all for your love and your patience and support and uh, hanging in there with us. Uh, <laughs> technology at work, uh, you know, the what can I say? Uh, there's just uh, 
technology. I don't know. Um, so I'll, I'll wait patiently again, as always. And uh, it's worth it. Uh, this is it. Okay, Leah, you're watching. <laughs> you're in the queue. You have been invited. It is done. So uh, is your app appearing? <clears throat> Waiting for a response. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I was saying is Leah comes from a real um, deep root. No, click the link. She's watching again. This is so mysterious. Um, all right. <laughs> Lord, this is hilarious. <laughs> um, I just don't see how I can um, uh, do this. Um, I just keep clicking on it, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see how we can do this. Um, yeah, uh, Carol says, just wanted to let you know that you both have to have the camera set up orientation the same in order for it to work. And uh, I trust that we do. Um, this is really interesting. Um, but we're going to make it work. Uh, I guarantee you. And, yeah, Leah, are you on a phone or on your computer? Because that is, a, you know, we've learned this before, it, that it doesn't work on the computer. This happened with uh, uh, Allegedly Dave. It happened with, uh, it happened with a several guests. Um, check your phone. Do it on the phone. That is the, I think that's the trick. I think that's the key. We've experienced this exactly this way uh, a, a few times. She's on an iPad. Can you be on a phone, Leah? That's, I think, the trick. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're seeing any of the comments, Leah, but, uh, you know, Michelle says maybe she clicks off of your video and goes back on it a couple times to clear out the bugs. I don't know, but... I found that the iPad and the uh, computers, uh, that's why I do it on the phone. I do it on the phone exactly th for this reason, because my computer on my laptop, uh, laptop doesn't uh, let me share the screen for some reason. I don't know why that occurs. It makes no sense to me. But <laughs> I'm not a tech whiz. And uh, hey, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you. You know, she's tried and even updated the app and rebooted. Um, okay, um, I do have... Um, yeah, Monica says that's what happened with her. It would only work on her phone. And, uh, yeah, you need to be in portrait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a technical uh, 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 learning curve today <laughs> for those that are watching, and uh, it's all good. And this is the uh, marvel of doing things live. Um, it's all about being present and uh, patient, and I'm okay with it. Um, I've got time, uh, and I hope that uh, Leah does as well, because... Um, what Lee is bringing to the table is a real important, um, it's a message uh, that's important. Yeah, she only needs a Facebook app on the phone. That's all that's required. And, uh, you know, we were, uh, we had a, quite a chat uh, the other day uh, using, um, using Messenger chat. That's what we were doing. 
Uh, and we were on the phone for an hour, and it was effortless. So I didn't see any, uh, I didn't foresee. And uh, and she's on Indian time. It happens when it happens. <laughs> that is wonderful, darling. <laughs> and it'll happen. It is it is happening. We are happening. And the feed is just what it is. We've, uh, hey, Matthew, thank you. Matthew wrote me a really sweet comment for the book, and I appreciate it very much. As well as Doc, um, beautiful words and very thoughtful. I was very humbled. And so, uh, patience. Patience is the key. I trust that um, patience uh, creates the space for all goodness, because as we lose patience, we might also lose our tolerance, our allowance, our acceptance, our gratitude, our empathy, our compassion. So patience is uh, the vital key. To me, it's the number one. It's the most important thing. And. Uh, I don't know, Michelle. Uh, we were talking on a Facebook Messenger. That's what we were uh, talking on um, when we spoke the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, this is an important message. Um, and, and it's, it's, it's going to happen. There's no way it's not going to happen. Uh, and I trust that, absolutely. Now, um, one thing I, um, I'll, I'll, I'll give this a whirl. I am going to, uh, uh, I will open up my laptop. And, uh, yeah, Messenger and Facebook apps are two different things. And, uh, okay, she says that she's on an older iPad mini and her iPhone 4GS is downloading the app now. That should correct it. I don't think we're going to have to, uh, I don't think we're going to have to do anything other than what we're doing. And that's, uh, exercising patience and love. And, uh, love is where it's at. There is no other conversation. And, uh, yeah, unconditional patience is the key. Yeah, it is. Uh, one of my earliest um, quotes that I ever remember writing uh, that I logged um, was, do not expect or anticipate or assume anything from anybody at any time as it's always a setup for disappointment every time. So, I just leave it alone. I don't uh, expect, assume, or anticipate anything. Although I am excited, I am patient. And I uh, trust that this is all going to work. I totally trust it. It's too important not to. Way too important. This is a... Uh, it's a powerful day. It's a great day for healing in the highest highest order. It's a great uh, opportunity for fasting and um, counting our blessings, uh, trusting source, uh, tapping into the uh, love within, and not. Um, let fear, doubt, frustration, sadness enter in. And that's what it all is anyway, it's just remembering we came in as love, soft, supple, tender, innocent, loving. That's who we really are. And then, 
what happened. <laughs> oh, man. And then uh, we get slapped. <laughs> and uh, anymore, they start uh, shoving uh, all sorts of crazy shit in your arm. There's a brand new baby. And that is, uh, that's the truth. That's a sad one. So the real key is to remember who we really are. These precious babies, these um, children of love. This is who we really are. When you see damaged goods, which is really prevalent everywhere, uh, people are damaged and they've been jaded and they've been led astray from their true source, the true beingness. And so when we um, refrain from looking at uh, wounded people, damaged people as problems or um, threatening or anything else and recognize that the bigger the mask, the deeper the wounds. And everybody just wants love. Everybody wants a hug. But some people are so uh, jaded and separated uh, from the love that they are that they carry a bigger stick and uh, <clears throat> put on a bigger front uh, to protect that um, lonely uh, child that's somehow got lost inside. But I trust, I do. I see that everybody wants a hug. That's what I see. Everybody just wants love. Whether they uh, realize it and allow it um, is up to them. And uh, we all have to have uh, patience. We can't, uh, I have no authority to judge anyone for any reason. It's not my uh, responsibility uh, or what I can, it's not even an option uh, to do that. And unconditional love um, only exists when we unconditionally love ourselves. We can never give what we haven't got. When we can unconditionally love ourselves, we can do that with others and allow them to be regardless of how they appear. No judgment, no fear, just love. Love them and leave them alone. Let them be. Everybody has their own process. And it's so different with urine therapy. We don't have uh, any right to impose this on anybody, to, you know, make them better. That's not our job. It's not. You can lead uh, people to knowledge, but you can't make them think. That all takes uh, time. It's a process. And the process is every individual's experience and right. And uh, we have to allow for that. It's important to allow for that. Otherwise, we're stuck in judgment. And judgment's just as much of an illness. It is. Because uh, it's not a solution. Judgment is not a solution. It's just part of the problem. It continues to divide us. Keeps us in separation. We are one. We are one. And as we allow that, we include ourselves in that love. And that's where the whole thing begins within. It's an inside job. It's up to us. And I'm still wondering.
what happened to Leah. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about her, believe me. I'm just holding space. I'm being very patient because it's worth it. It's worth the wait for me. Uh, totally. She is a rare gift. When we were talking uh, the other day, um, and we were discussing her um, her name and how that came about, uh, I told her that back in 1998, uh, when I moved to Sedona, uh, up in uh, Flagstaff, at a uh, animal sanctuary, uh, the very first white buffalo was born. And the white buffalo symbolizes uh, generational legend. And it signifies evolution. It signifies change. And when the first white buffalo appeared, it was glorious. It was a message that resounded uh, through the tribes. And isn't it interesting that our guest today, wherever she is, <laughs> was named that at birth. It's pretty profound. She has amazing lineage. Uh, her uh, roots uh, go all the way up. Uh, into some of the most devastating times of the Native American genocide. And it's powerful. And her whole, um, she's still downloading. So it's happening. As she said before, she's on Indian time. <laughs> and man, talk about patience. The indigenous the tribal, the generational, legendary storytelling that brought so much wisdom was intentionally being annihilated, where people were, you know, being forced into assimilation, you know, where they'd cut their hair and uh, destroy their culture, their language their identity, to assimilate them into some white Anglo-Saxon Protestant bullshit. Now, I've always felt indigenous, always. I've always had a lot of empathy. <clears throat> it's been very deep for me uh, throughout my life. <clears throat> I felt that. I felt estranged. I felt alienated. Um, I couldn't get with the program. <laughs> and now I realize there was a good, uh, yeah. Leah says, Sante Su Chief, uh, Inca Paduta, Wounded Knee Massacre, Battle of Little Bighorn, AKA Custer's Last Stand. Yeah, we were talking about that. And <clears throat> I really don't want to, um, I don't want to have to tell Leah's story, uh, but I, I'm going to keep bringing up certain points in order to um, keep you engaged because this is a worthy, uh, worthy tale. Um, and it's not what happened, not at all, although there's a strong legendary wisdom involved. It's about what's happening now. This is what's happening. It's evolutionary. The revolution is an evolution. It's what it is. There's no more need for violence, hatred, fear, separation, annihilation. It's not required. The evolution is love. And this is where it all grows. This is where it really, really happens. And it is. It is happening. 
this is a message that is now spreading all over the world. People are getting on board. Urine therapy is certainly a uh, introductory card uh, to this awakening because it allows the individual to love themselves. By drinking your own waters, you're going to discover self-love like you've never, ever experienced it before. Her phone's still loading. <laughs> so much for uh, <laughs> technology. It's all good. No worries. I can hold the space. Patience is the key. Now, I guarantee you, I've waited patiently my whole life to be able to be in this tribe in this kind of association where it isn't bannerism it isn't labeled it isn't classified in club membership it isn't exclusive not at all it's all inclusive this is the evolution and I do remember I used to uh, do presentations on the Mayan calendar back in the day, and there was all this um, hubbub uh, that was being embellished uh, to a certain degree about the 12, 12, 12, that that's when the Mayan calendar was coming to its closure, and everybody waited with their bated breath for some sign, some significant change. But if you understand the Mayan calendar at all, it's not fixed by any stretch. It goes through nine different tiers of trans transcension to awaken state. And just like a pregnancy, some are early, some are late. So different. Time is not relative in this discussion, but awareness is, having a consciousness is, and as consciousness collectively um, unfolds in an evolutionary fashion, which it is, be joyful, be grateful, we are who we've been waiting for, <laughs> this is you know, you don't have to look any further than inside to realize that the evolution is happening. And we can fill our uh, hearts. We can turn tears of sadness into tears of joy. We can be something that we never quite captured or imagined as we listen to others determine who we are, judging us, limiting us, condescending, sarcastic remarks. There's no room for that. It doesn't heal anything, actually, by the ones who provide these. It shows that they're more wounded than you. They have no idea where the love is and if they can make you feel worse makes them feel better somehow strange how that works love is for everyone and everybody is love whether they recognize it or not just tapping into the source. It's all that's required. I'm not going to find it from the pulpit. You know, the cartoons on the TV. You know, the mouthpieces and the bobbleheads. Or whoever won the Super Bowl. It's all so moot. 
The evolution is here. It is happening. And more and more people are just waking up. That's all. In, in all their due time. In true Zen Buddhism, one thing can't exist without the other. It's simply a decision of where you're going to be in the balance. What space you're going to employ. What space you're going to hold. To allow for that love to evolve. And the more you resist it, the more it persists. It's simple. It's not easy. If you've been beat up all your life and you believed all that bullshit that was cast upon you with damaging words that put you under a spell, it's going to require some work. It requires it requires a certain uh, focus, a discipline. And again, discipline seems to be a uh, derogatory word in some people's mindset. But it's just this self-awareness, being a disciple of your own soul, being atoned, atonement, at one moment with the I am that I am. This is a gift. This is the God. This is God. We are God. We are not gods. We are God. It's a big difference. And as we awaken our own souls, as we awaken our own spirit, as we tap into our own love, all that other shit disappears. It fades. It's just like on a movie set. You dolly back and you fade to black and that scene closes. New scene, new chapter, new words. Put yourself under your own spell. Decide what the <clears throat> meaning of your life is. What words give you the empowerment that you deserve? Trust and allow that to occur and see what happens next. <clears throat> You'd be pretty amazed. And when you give yourself permission to get out of your own way, miracles happen. Well, you know what? I got another poem I want to share. And I wrote this one. This one actually did get published in some um, poetry book or something. I submitted it. and uh, But I think it's as relative now as it ever was. Ah, my notebook. <laughs> it split. <laughs> uh, this one is simply entitled, I Am. I am Christian. I am Jew. I am Muslim. How about you? I am happy. I am sad. I'm so good, makes me bad. I am stupid. I am smart. I am learning that life's an art. What we believe becomes our truth. It's fear conditions from our youth. Can we break free and release the rage and stop indifference with wars we rage? I am darkness. I am light. I'm wrong. Is that right? I am goodness. I am God. I am energy. A lightning rod. I am chaos. I am calm. I am the wisdom in my palm. What we believe becomes our truth.
fear conditions from our youth. Can we break free, release the rage, and stop indifference with the wars we wage? I'm confusing. I'm clear. I am everywhere. And I'm right here. I am the Bible. I am the Quran. I am the woman inside the man. I am a winner. I am what I choose. I am a dreamer seeking my truths. What we believe becomes our truths. Fear conditions from our youth. Can we be, break free and release the rage and stop indifference with the wars we wage? That was from 2004. I've been doing this shit a long time. <laughs> And, you know, even with all that being said, um, you know, knowing is not relative when we forget. If we don't remember who we really are, if we lose track of who we're being, if we listen to um, falsehoods, myths, Who are we going to blame now? Who's the fool on the ship of fools? We have to listen to our heart. We have to trust ourselves. You know, the truth will set you free. And the only truth there is is your own truth. My truth might be different than your truth or other people's truth. I listen to my truth. It's the one I know. It's the one I trust. I encourage you to do the same thing. Listen to your heart. Trust your instincts. Don't let the mind get in the way. The mind will fuck you over. It can be used as a power tool to encourage you, enable you, enhance you, expand you. Or it can just twist your melon around until you're just a bloody mess. And we do this to ourselves. If we allow others to participate, who's the fool? Them or you? It's a ponderance. Things we have to always consider. We just have to consider who we're being. That's all. Now, if you're just joining us, we are still uh, in patience, <laughs> waiting for our lovely guest, Leah. She's downloading her now. It's just funny how this all works, but I have nothing but time for her. So if this broadcast ends up being five hours long, I don't care. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Because the message that's coming through today is an important one. It's really valuable. And I thank you. I welcome you. I embrace you for being a part of it. Just being present here in this feed is a, uh, is humbling. I appreciate all the love. All the little hearts. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. And uh, this is a beautiful day to be alive, celebrate it. Every day is. Every day, every moment, every breath that we receive is an opportunity for goodness, to discover greatness, to heighten awareness. It's all there. Thanks for joining us, Ryan.
Ryan, uh, by the way, has a great program, just so you know if you're not aware. He has a program called Lucid Paints, and he does, he's like the, uh, uh, it's like the new Bob Ross somehow. He does it all with spray paint. He creates these beautiful, um, remarkable images uh, that he uh, does all live. Uh, so he uh, he shows you the process and uh, and uh, invites you to experience the techniques uh, that he applies. And it's very uh, I I watch him. Um, he does a frequent show. You can find him. Uh, Lucid Paints is the name, um, and Ryan uh, is the curator of uh, that particular gallery. Yeah, I love him. We've had some beautiful chats uh, talking together, and he's a remarkable man. So, yeah, I appreciate everybody. You know, I make myself available. Uh, to people. I love uh, experiencing what's in people's hearts, uh, what's on their mind. Um, I'm always available. I mean, not every single second, I have, uh, uh, but I make time. I do. And I welcome anybody who wants to reach out and, you know, have uh, a chat. <laughs> you know, the text thing gets really um, redundant to me. I'm willing to do the text thing on the personal messenger, but it's really uh, better uh, to engage either in live, uh, like with a video chat or a phone call, um, because things get kind of lost in translation uh, in that. Uh, and some people are uh, talking into their phone and letting it text for them, so it can get lost in translation, or they have some other means I, I sit there and peck with one finger in order to <laughs> create messages you know it's it gets uh, gets weary but either way however it appears I'm always willing uh, to accept people and uh, just be a mirror for them that's all we all are is just mirrors we're just mirrors so if you don't like what you see in others, um, it's what you don't like about yourself. It's just how it works. And so it's always a beautiful opportunity to consider what you are disturbed about, angry about, frustrated with, angry over, any of these things. It's always an opportunity. And people just are being themselves. If we take it personal, well, you're going to get the results. In the wisdom of the four agreements is always being impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personal. Don't assume anything and do the best you can. These are pretty simple pearls of uh, wisdom, as far as I can tell. And they enable us and enhance us into a higher sense of well-beingness. And that's a healthy choice. Carol, you're an artist as well. We all are artists in our own life. Some are just untapped and undiscovered. Everybody is a gift. Everybody has a gift. It's just about exploring and tapping into it. And then uh, owning it, sharing it, being it, allowing it. And what a beautiful world. Imagine people actually celebrating themselves, truly, authentically, honestly, not limiting themselves, not hiding themselves, not thinking, oh, I'm not good enough. And the reason they think that is somebody either told them that or they compare themselves with others. And if you look at how our uh, culture has been uh, manifested that we put so much stock in celebrity and royalty and you know people of position and power like they got something over on us they ain't got nothing they ain't got nothing 
that we haven't got ourselves. It's just about tapping in. Realize we're unlimited. Stop the limitation. Give yourself permission to get out of your way. It's a healthy choice. Truly it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Denise, it's easy to misunderstand when there's no tone of voice or facial expression. That's true. It, it gets lost in translation. That's what happens. And I love all you uh, for doing, you know, your uh, comments and uh, having discussion amongst yourselves. It's really uh, powerful. Uh, I was thanked uh, just this morning or yesterday for um, introducing um, two people that uh, got to spend time on the beach um, in transit. And so it, it's, it's why I'm here. I get it. I know it. It's not about me. Not about me at all. It's about the tribe. And the tribe is alive. It's a living organism on its own. And I see people connecting. I see how they start a stream of consciousness and then interact and develop their own uh, awareness of each other. It's really powerful. It's really beautiful. And it, there's more than just questions. You know, we all have questions. I'll never run out of questions. I've always questioned everything, especially authority. I've always questioned what was being dictated to me, imposed upon me, in an authoritative manner. You know, I, as far back as I can remember as a kid, you don't, you, you, you can't beat people into respect. You earn it. Respect is something earned, not demanded. And the only thing I ever got out of that kind of demanding was resentment. I resented it. I didn't kowtow to it. I just developed a bigger fuck you towards it. Which, you know, for my development, that was what was required of me. I went sideways a lot. But somehow I keep finding my way back to the path. And the path has lots of detours. You know? It just does. Sometimes the road gets really bumpy. It gets really uh, convoluted and confusing. But I see life like a, the cyclone at uh, Coney Island. <laughs> You know, it's a, the oldest, most rickety roller coaster, I think, still in existence that hasn't been replaced by modern technology. And so, in that ride, you can either be waving your hands in the air and screaming with joy, or grasping onto the handrail, frightened with fear. Either way, the ride is here. That's how the ride goes. We just have to appreciate it for what it is. And fear will limit us. Love will expand us. It'll show us the true joy of being. And we're all given these gifts. All of us. We're all given opportunity. We're all given these gifts to find out, to remember, to remind ourselves. It's not about the problem. It's all in the solution. And if we focus all of our energy on the problem, the solution will never appear. It'll disappear right in front of your eyes. It'll slip through your fingers. And it just takes practice. It's all it is, practice. There is no perfection. 
Anybody who claims that, like Alan Watts says, anybody who says that they can lead you to spiritual enlightenment is like someone stealing your watch and selling it back to you. I agree. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a human in, in process. I'm a part of an experiment called the humans. We were, we are an experiment. And when you look at it, when you compare it, species to species, how we doing folks, you know? You know, the track record doesn't look good. You know, you look at other species, whether they're animal or mammal, plant. They don't wonder what time it is. They don't question what, you know, who's the president. <laughs> you know, they don't, they, they really don't care who won the game. It's just not even a relative matter. And humans are under a construct. And the construct is a uh, uh, developed to control us, to manipulate us. So it's by design. It's very clever. Actually, it works pretty good if you look around. And who can we blame? You know, all the fat cats, you know, the industrialists, the greedy monsters, the royals. Too much energy being focused on all that. When the way out is the way in. As we go in, the deeper we go in, the more we source what's so. Realizing the God that I am, that I am. They can't stop that. That is the evolution. And the revolution is the evolution. We are on our way. We are exactly who we've been waiting for. Exactly. And the numbers are growing. It shows. P is certainly a way to find it. It was for me. I didn't wake up as uh, bright as I did until I... Uh, really started my pee. Now I read you some poems that I wrote, you know, years ago, and I've got them, I got poems that go back 40 years, that show an awful lot of intelligence and consideration, but I was still angry. I was still frustrated. I still carried hate doubt, fear. I embodied those things and it showed. Now, I choose not. Now, does that mean I arrive? No fucking way. There is no destination. It's all a journey. And it's just a practice. And I practice with every breath I take. I just practice. Trusting and allowing, having patience. That's what this is today, is an exercise in patience. I'm still patiently uh, waiting for Leah. You know, I can't tell you what happened or what is happening. All I know is that she's with us in her heart in her spirit. And she is remarkable. And if need be, I'll recreate the broadcast one more time, not today, because I'm not going to start and stop it again. But I'll just reschedule with Leah, because what she has to bring to the table is powerful. She is a rainbow warrior. 
she is high cotton. This sister brings a lot to the table. She does. And she is amazing. And I'm honored to call her my friend. And uh, she's up there in Canada, eh? <laughs> An Indian time. <laughs> so uh, it's all good. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't. You know, what matters is that people are aligning to themselves. That's all that matters. As you align to yourself, you align with others. As you experience your love, you'll find it is everywhere. It's magnetics. It's the true law of attraction. And we are just magnetic energy fields. That's what we really are composed of. That's what's amazing about urine, because, uh, yeah, Canada rocks. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Glenn's there, yeah. And so, yeah, these things are um, um, all in us. All the, all the fine uh, metals, uh, the precious metals that are in the periodic uh, table, they exist in our pee. Pretty profound. You know, all the things that we need to maintain a healthy body. It's all there. It's amazing. You know, and the people that don't get it, don't get it. They might. They may. You know, some people will just stick to their guns. Oh, that's disgusting. Really? Is it? Here, I'll show you how disgusting it is. Isn't that disgusting? I don't think so. I don't think it's disgusting at all. I think it's a miracle. I think it's magical. It is high-powered octane stem cell enzyme infused with every component your body ever needs, ever. We really don't need anything. Need and want are something that we separate ourselves with. We put things out, outside of ourselves. When the real key lives inside, it's all within us, everything. We already have it. We just have to own it, accept it. Be the gift. Enjoy it. And the more you are it, you share it. It's pretty easy. It's relative. It doesn't require um, a whole lot of uh, intelligence. Because our P is intelligent. You can become intelligent simply by osmosis. Because our pee is intelligent. And it awakens areas of our body, spirit, mind, and soul, and heart that we may have never understood. It's a greater understanding of who we truly are, where we are. So, are you in? Are you going to be a part of the solution? Or are you going to keep looking at problems? It's all an option. It's always there. I just don't see any um, value in it myself. Not anymore. Beating people over the head. Attempting to convince them of something that we think is right. Our truth, my truth, I allow everybody to have their truth, however that appears. Not my job. Just not my job. <laughs> not my job. 
<coughs> not at all. So, um, hey, Iskra, thank you all for uh, joining, participating. Really means a lot to me. And I'm still, uh, I'm still wondering. I'm still in ponder where our beautiful guest might be. But as I said before, if I need, I will create a, another whole broadcast for that purpose. It's too important. It's just way too important not to do that. So, I'm going to be patient. I am patient. Patience is my middle name. <laughs> I raise children. Yeah, we still got plenty of time. You know, I've got nothing but time. I, you know, I know everybody's time is valuable. It's all relative. Whatever, you know, we make time out to be. But, you know, it's all relative. We do live in the matrix. <clears throat> whatever was, whatever will be already is, just about what we pay attention to. And I find it most valuable to just pay attention to the evolution. Yeah, I do. The evolution is here and it won't be televised. You can trust that. So, I haven't seen any comments uh, from Leah for a while. Last one was uh, she was reloading, rebooting, and doing all that. Um, so, I don't know. Um, perhaps um, she can let me know what so. Um, otherwise, uh, I will, uh, with uh, love, uh, reschedule with her. Absolutely. And soon, I'll just make a special broadcast. Maybe do it just tonight. I don't know. Matters not. This is an exercise. And not just for me, for everyone. It's an exercise in patience, trust, and allowance. And having gratitude about it. There's never any accident. It's no accident. It's all on purpose. And I know my purpose, my dharma. I understand it. I accept it. I'm responsible for it. Which is why I do what I do. It's my purpose, not my job. It's a mission to be a part of the uh, growing community throughout the world, <clears throat> and it is growing exponentially, and the more people that are becoming conscious just allows more space for more people uh, to uh, become conscious. It's all energy. It's what it is, <clears throat> just waves of energy, and as people decide that they're uh, kind of fed up with a lot of things, not just ill health, uh, but culture, social conditions, politics, sports, news, manipulated weather. You can battle these things forever and you just end up at the end of the day exhausted. Because you're just battling against yourself. 
when you trust yourself enough, when you allow yourself enough to love yourself enough, you'll let all that go and you'll be free. You won't be in shackled in chains, locked up like a slave to things that you can't control. It's pretty simple. It's just not easy. Sometimes we have to unlearn everything. Let go of everything. Release ourselves completely. Find that beautiful child that's been hiding out, waiting patiently for a hug. And that child lives in everyone, everywhere, always. So embrace the child. Embrace the child within you. Recognize that child in others. Share that experience. It's worthy. It's welcome. Just allow it. It, it is. It'll happen. And yeah, Andrew, it is fun hanging out with fellow Ornists. It's true. <clears throat> but, you know, that's why I created the High Vibe Tribe. Uh, not to single anybody out. I welcome, uh, I welcome everybody, whether they're doing your therapy or not. Because it's about the higher vibration. Certainly, you know, the journey to a higher frequency with a baby pee in its mouth speaks kind of volumes. <laughs> it's not exclusive. It's not. Because I don't want to exclude anyone. I really don't. You never know who's going to meander up and go, what's going on in here? Wow, this looks like fun. What are you guys all doing? Drinking pee? <laughs> and being happy? Wow, I never imagined I could be drinking pee and be happy. How do you do that? It's pretty simple. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, um, and I thank you all for um, understanding what's going on I, because um, I certainly don't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, you know, I really, it's, uh, it's just a marvel, but, um, I've just been patiently waiting here to see if, uh, Leah reappears, because I haven't heard from her for, uh, quite some time. Uh, she hasn't been in the messenger here, um, showing, uh, any sign of anything, so, um, I just can't say, but, yeah, I think I'm only going to give it a couple more moments, um, and uh, I will get a hold of Leah, and uh, we will reschedule, and it could be later, I don't know. Um, it'll happen, though. It's too important not to. And so, yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out um, and putting up with me. <laughs> You know, I know, I, I, I put it out there, it was going to be Leah, and uh, she's here in spirit, I know. Um, I've done everything I know how. I just don't know what else I can do uh, to make it any different than what we're dealing with right now. And so it's all good. And so I do welcome you all. I welcome you to be a part be a part of the High Vibe Tribe, and, you know, collectively be a part of all the groups. The groups are there for our inclusion, not exclusion. And um, I also, I still welcome anybody who would like to participate with the Orin Oracles uh, book. Um, I, I humbly accept your donations at uh, um, paypal.me forward slash weedoo. 
and uh, with a donation of $25 or more, uh, you're secured a uh, signed and uh, numbered copy, and you'll be included in the uh, contributor acknowledgments uh, as somebody that helped make it happen. And I also uh, welcome you to submit uh, comments about any of my uh, poetry and my work or any of that uh, to be included into the comment section of the book. And um, I do love you all dearly. I really, uh, re really appreciate your time, really, uh, the deepest way. And, um, well, um, how soon do I need the comments? Well, um, as you prepare them and send them in, um, sooner's better because that gives it, the book uh, more completion because um, that's kind of what they're looking for is the completion of the book. And I actually um, had a message back from my coordinator yesterday that I, <laughs> I still didn't get it. And uh, so I have to do some more processing, but it's all good. Um, it's happening. It's all happening. So, yeah, with all that being said, I really do wish you all a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. And thanks for spending time. And um, I will reschedule Leah. Um, and I'll let you know. Um, we'll make it happen. A special broadcast. It'll happen. And so, uh, love yourselves, you know, always keep your peace together, and, uh, boom, ha, you've just been loved, bye now.